Hey, what's up guys? Rob here. What you're about to listen to is an excerpt from the weekly podcast that I'm a part of called The Juice is Loose. It's just a smaller part to a much larger conversation. So if you are interested in hearing the full episode or subscribing to the podcast or any of the guests on the podcast, you can do so by following the links in the description below. Thanks and I'll see you next time. I think Definitely. that would have happened on Wii U if the Wii U was more comparable to Xbox 360. I agree. I think, I think that was the biggest hurdle is it cost a million bucks to, you know, to port a game to it. Mm-hmm. And then you have to worry about, you know, the install base. And, like, I think if it's an easy thing and it doesn't cost a lot of money to do, they'll just do it. Mm-hmm. Would NVIDIA work on it? Oh, or NVIDIA, I don't know. Is <laughs> NVIDIA. <laughs> then, <laughs> then hopefully, you know, it's easier to port. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows their, their setup at this point. Yeah. yeah like not, at that point, it's no excuse, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not yeah, familiar with the whole if it is ARM architecture. Like, I don't know what anything that has that architecture and how it compares to x86. But the same people that, were, that leaked the switch and leaked the name, but what it is, said that they also said it was super easy to develop. For yeah, stuff. it's really easy going from ARM to x86 from what well, I hear. And yeah. that could be Nintendo's real, real win here with this. And that was that was the talk, wasn't it? Like two years ago, like within the first like six months of them even first mentioning NX, wasn't the whole talk about they were doing something that was like an Android kind of architecture, which they mm-hmm. were doing to make it specifically so brain dead easy to develop yeah. and port for, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. that got shot down right away. Mm-hmm. Did it though? I yeah. thought it lasted yeah, that got for a shot while. Down. Well, they, they shot say, it down. They, Nintendo they officially shot that down like within a few days, but. Gotcha. Oh, wow. I but I think I would maybe part. maybe what they were talking about, whoever that rumor was about, was built out of this whole NVIDIA being involved and, oh, it's, maybe it's going to be like the Shield, you know, because the yeah. Shield is a Android tablet. And it's like mm-hmm. that, you know, that, you know, that way it makes sense. I was looking at, you know, Shield and uh, like the games and the setup and stuff like it, it, it has a lot of multiplats on it. You know, mm-hmm. obviously they're scaled down or whatever. But if that's any if that's a. A, a base to start for the the for the NS, then it shouldn't be that big a deal to move you know move your games over to uh, Switch. I mean, it's the less uh, the building off what you were saying to you have to think part of the reason that a lot of the stuff didn't come out on the Wii U after that first year was was the fact that it's like well like it's not really selling that well and it's just it's so much man hours and so much money and it's a pain right. in the ass for us to make you know, Tomb Raider of it work on the on the Wii U. So, like, you know what? It's just not worth it, whatever. But, again, if it be, if it's so easy to do and doesn't cost developers much to take the same info from the others mm-hmm. and just put it on the Switch, like, they'll do it. They will totally do it, right? Like, why wouldn't they? We, we already saw that. You know, we saw that with the GameCube. The GameCube yeah. did not sell well. The games on it didn't really sell all that great, but people were still willing to put their big multiplats mm-hmm. on it because it was super easy to develop for it. Yeah, and that's man. why you still had that happening. You know, you didn't get every big third party game. Obviously, GameCube missed a lot of third party games, like the bigger, but it got, some a, big lot ones, of them, but it got a lot of them. So, it and that was because sports, it was a dream sports. to develop for. It was easy mm-hmm. to develop for. So, I think that's going to be the same thing with the Switch. I think that's um, a, a hurdle that the Wii U had that the Switch won't have. Yeah, well, I mean, mm-hmm. Ubisoft has a surprise game. Remember they said. <laughs> yeah. So oh, man, it could do. be, you know, what's that Friends thing that they did for Wii U that they never brought out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The Friends thing? It would be that on Switch. I know what Robert <laughs> hopes it is, though. He hopes it's a Raven Raven, rabbits. Raven, rabbits. <laughs> oh, rabbits go home, too. <laughs> I thought it was something about boobs, but it's rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, they, I don't know about getting, but I was uh, checking the sales of and it was Black Ops Three at fourteen million. Black Ops Three, okay. GTA Five at twelve million on the okay, PS4. Black Ops only. Three, man, that's only impressive. Wow. I, think, I just remember that thing selling million. like crazy. I it's ridiculous. So it's been it was cheap for a long time, but it's like, is it is the PlayStation like user or the internet, um, the network and everything that good that that people the Call of Duty fans oh. like? You know, playing on the PlayStation over there. Well, no, that they they that's, they get the uh, DLC first. Yeah, it's they literally yeah. that's oh, yeah. they get the maps and stuff. Isn't that it's pathetic? Dead, like that matters to people. Well, it mat. I see. Like I, I used to think that was so stupid, but it's it's the same thing as getting a game first and mm-hmm. or having to wait six months or whatever. Yeah. People want that stuff now, especially that kind of stuff, so they can get on it and get good at it and using all that stuff. That's true. And but, you know, if you have to if you have to wait for it on Xbox, then people are going to jump on. Why, it. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's no yeah, way that's I would what I don't that really care too much about. Like it's dumb, but I don't really care because Call of Duty, I just kind of accept how it works with the map packs and all that. And yeah. like, okay, people, like you said, T, like it makes a difference to people who are super hardcore into like, it. Who, yeah, exactly. It's fine. It's whatever to me. Don't you, it just seems to me like they'd care more about the controller they're playing it on because they should. To and me, the, the Xbox the One controller. Hey man, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> That's why imagine what would happen if Nintendo somehow got like DLC maps first oh, for like snap, oh, they're not gonna with that controller. The apocalypse oh would literally begin if that happened. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would literally it's be gonna... blow up. Like what? Oh, my God. If that happens, it's going to be like in 15 years from now. Like it'll be a totally uh-huh. different video game industry. Nintendo's oh, yeah. back on top for sure. Hmm. But nice yeah, um, just I think. uh like I said, the uh, some of the multi plats. Like I'm, I might be ready to play uh, a basketball or football game. It's been a while since I've bought one of those, and it's not like I'm waiting for Nintendo to get them again. I still have the, them to play, but it's been long enough. It's been since 2010 since I played a football game. Mm. Well, that's because you know Madden's garbage. I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, you have no choice but to play if you're gonna play a football game. It's got to be Madden, and that's sad. It yeah. is <laughs> more so. like Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ooh, I think still... Saturn 2017. <laughs> you win the day, sir. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag Saturn. Yeah, hashtag Saturn 2017. Hashtag Saturn. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but uh, I think Saturn Madden was actually Saturn. way down. I think Madden's been way down actually this this time. I, I wouldn't mean, be surprised. I, anybody yeah. talking about the new Madden, but uh nobody talks about Madden anymore like they used to. It's crazy. Madden don't even talk about Madden. <laughs> NBA <laughs> and uh, FIFA are usually the two <laughs> ones that really yeah. you know hit it. NBA two K is still is a great series. So well and FIFA, right? FIFA's gotta be there because that's yeah. worldwide. It looks right? cool. Like I mean, I was surprised at how good it looks now, like, but I just don't know if what I'd like is, is some of the racing stuff. Even though I don't usually like simulation kind of games, I like the Mario Karts and F-Zeros. I do like the idea of some of the kookier Need for Speeds and stuff coming. And I know that Underground... Was it Underground that did come to Wii U? Which was that one called? Yeah. Most Wanted awesome. You. Most, 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 most Wanted You is Most Wanted You. Underground is like five, 10 years old. Forget it. Yeah, like PlayStation 2. <laughs> Bring back <laughs> San Francisco <laughs> Rush. Oh, oh, dude, where's my burnout? Oh, I man. want another burnout game. I yeah, want another burnout. Midnight Club. That's what I want. Well, Ryan. they turned Burnout into... A need for speed, like every other I year. It was. The I don't want to hear team. that shit. But it was uh, great back in the day, man. Burnout uh, was so legit. Fucking miss Burnout, man. I liked it up till two. I didn't like the. I didn't like when EA took three it was takedown. Right, that was that was really good. I liked it. What about uh, Paradise? I like takedown. That was probably the last one I actually just. Three liked. became more of a over the top, like yeah, it was summer blockbuster action movie with all this ridiculous stuff, and it became less about the skillful like near misses and stuff that you could yeah. burn out too. Well, and you said Paradise Trellis. Was that the fourth one? Was that the one after? Paradise? Yeah, that was, the, the that, was, that was the I think that was the open world ish <laughs> one. Mm, yeah, I, didn't oh, I, had, I had fun with that one. I love that one. Burnout yeah, 2 is my fave. Yeah, I still have it on the GameCube. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I want another one, god damn it. <laughs> that did come on the GameCube. Holy crap. Jeez, yeah, see stuff like that. Mind. I forgot. So let's, I mean, if anyone can think of something off like a third party exclusive that you would think would be a good fit for the switch. Like, you know, Rob, if you want to go first on, or you said you don't care if it's exclusive, but beyond good and evil too. But is there anything, is there anything you could think of that would fit Nintendo more than the other ones that maybe Nintendo could take away and make it exclusive? Um, As a straight up exclusive. Yeah. Like a third party game, but, the next one would be exclusive to the Switch, like what they did with Bayonetta 2. Is there anything? I can't really think of any right now. But Well, it would. it's kind of a cheat answer, but I do think it's a legitimate one, and it would be Rayman. You know, it's, 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 obviously, it's a yeah. cheat for a couple of reasons, because it, A, the last one was supposed to be exclusive, and B, because it's Rayman, and it just it just is obvious. But and I don't see, know, and it's, it's Ubisoft. It's sold better too. on the... Wii U. Oh, well, the PS3 yeah. fi- eventually, it, yeah, it, eventually caught it, but you know. But the Wii U version was so. <laughs> I, scary, I think it's like man. the second best selling of the, of all of them. I believe that behind maybe the first one, which is an absolute classic. So I mean, I would love to see Rayman. Like that makes sense. The art style makes sense. Um, Ubisoft does traditionally support those things. I mean, and if I if I want to stick with Ubisoft, I'll go with my other dream game. That will never happen. Just so y'all guys know before you start making fun of me. But it would be another actual Zombie U sequel if they actually delivered on a sequel and, and made it exclusive to the Wii U and not that zombie crap they brought to the other consoles. Mm-hmm. 
I would love to see that kind of stuff happen. But Beyond Good and Evil 2 could make sense. Um, or Rayman. I, I, like the, I like those games. I got one. It's a, it's, a, it's a Catcom series that they keep using a few characters from in other games but won't actually make a, no, a new game in the series. Oh. Uh, Darkstalkers. That's what Ooh, I do. Darkstalkers. Because that... That's been gone for a while. The way the, oh, the fighting game, Darkstalkers. Yeah. 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 I thought you were going to say Mega Man, and I was like, well, Mega Man's a great No, game. no, because that's, that's, that's too obvious, man. I ain't played Darkstalkers since the 90s. Yeah. I know, that, that's, that's, what, that's what bothers me about Late it. Like, you keep seeing like characters like from Darkstalkers, yeah, yeah. but it's like, can we can we get a new yes, one? That's true. Can we get a new one, please? Shit. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> cool. uh, I'm almost going to look at I'm going to go look at my It's kind of like what they did with Tatsunoko and Wii. Like, yes, oh, that was a great I need a game. single to hit too. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm just really trying to think of something. Me too. I can't think of anything except that for I'm... hopefully a rabbit's go. Yeah, home. serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Go to the Wii, man. Uh, well, no more heroes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, but that was already stuff like that. Yeah, that's already exclusive Nintendo. I was trying to think of something from another. From here's what could work. Tell me what you guys think about this. And this is just a fanboy in me, but I think a couple of exclusive Star Wars games. Like the way that Darth Maul rumored game that was going to come to the Wii yeah. U that was going to mm. be just a Wii U game. Not with EA, though, I don't think. It's, I don't think it's impossible for them to take like a mid-tier Star Wars project and make yeah, that exclusive yeah, to a console. Like, and maybe it's, make it's, EA. EA. it's EA, though. Freak yeah, up a yeah, small group. And, uh, I don't think EA would do that. Today's EA, I don't think we'd do well, that. Well, uh, but yeah. what, <laughs> think about what we're talking about. Like, why would any company make anything exclusive? Like, well, because you know, obviously Nintendo would fund it. Well, because mm-hmm. Nintendo would pay for it. That's the exactly. Right. That's why you make exclusive stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's how Bloodborne happened, pay, which is like a Dark Souls kind of game. But all the Dark Souls game are multiplatform, but Bloodborne is not. So you know, yeah. it, it happens if someone pays for it. Like I Sony mean, paid for that. No, I reject the idea of like people. Oh, uh, they can't do Beyond Good and Evil because it came out and everything. Well, you know what? Nobody bought it. So what? It came out and everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that matters. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, just I like the, the Dreamcast. Game, no better. one bought it, but everyone loved it. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's just like so what? Like I really think it, it has a, being an exclusive would give it a better chance. That's what yeah, I'm thinking. You know. I think especially because yep. it's, you know, it's got the cartoony type characters. That stuff usually does better at on uh, It's on a lighthearted, console. mystical world kind of yeah. game and characters, yeah. It's I a got darkness one. to it for sure, obviously, but... And just like you said, Juice, how you think it might do better, I literally think Bayonetta 2 did better than it would have done if it became a, if yeah. it was just another sequel. And the fact that it yeah, was probably. exclusive I gave think it so attention, too. I think, yeah. But anyway, go one. ahead, Juice. Yeah. Ukulele 2. Exclusive to the Switch. Uh, well, <laughs> well, we need to. Hey, look, we need to make sure the first game is going to sell well. That's really, yeah. well, Smart. even if it doesn't, it if, doesn't if sell well. Long as it's a good game, man. Nintendo could say, "Yep, make the second one on us," and um, it's exclusive. Or tell them to make a 3D Donkey Kong or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna see <laughs> you know. But I would love if Bayonetta three was exclusive. I'll take it anyway. Oh. But if it's ex- like. I'm pretty sure it would be anyway. Yeah, I think, it's gonna I be think there's a good chance, man. I totally believe in Bayonetta 3. Because she's in Bay- uh, Smash, so I really think. Well, I got, me, I think she's like a Nintendo character by now, basically. <laughs> well, actually, at this point, I, I'll, I'll take a shot in the dark here since this game came out a little bit earlier this year and then kind of like fell off because people couldn't, couldn't stand the graphical style. Uh, style. Uh, a new King of Fighters game exclusive because. From what I've seen in terms of the sales for the PS4 version that came out recently, that thing didn't even sell over like two hundred hundred thousand. I mean, so, they didn't even promote it though. I, I mean, they even remembered that it came out. I only I only saw like trailers of it and shit like a PS3 game, and I was like, oh no, this isn't gonna end well. And then mm-hmm. it came out, and you're like, when did it come out? <laughs> what about <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII remastered? Oh. <laughs> remastered. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you don't do that, I'd rather get like uh, fucking eleven. He would sure. rather have eight. I would probably rather have eight though. Uh, I want to remake a three on the on the switch. Shit, a three make. Yeah, <laughs> three make. Uh, I want a three piece. <laughs> I think this is a good study for third parties, especially for like the switch, because it's like I think you'll do better with, you know, I, I guess it doesn't have to be exclusive, but uh, exclusive type games for the. Uh, the switch would do better mm-hmm. fare better i think yeah the big multi-plats will probably sell okay but if you really want your game to stand out um and if the switch is really easy and cheap to develop for mm-hmm. you know, put a little team together and put something together that's unique See, well, that's, I mean, why, and- that's why i like the wii idea because i wanted right. to have this 
Yeah, parties. but I don't want no. Don't release Call of Duty 2D side scroller action game. Like, to me, <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, that's not, not the right approach. And I what about know. House of the Dead, though? We got House of the Dead. That shit was great. That was a great game. Call of Duty 2D side scroller. <laughs> yeah, like a beat em up. You know, you. Like, I, <laughs> be I, whack. <laughs> We're out there playing them Wii 360 beat em up games again. Nobody plays Call of Duty for the, the Call of Duty ness. They play for that multiplayer. <laughs> no, the Call of Duty ness? <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything. All right? His duty ness has spoken. You can't just take uh, Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed and have us. Like, there's no motion control. There's like That's all the only thing that was different about Call of Duty and Wii. But we don't know there's no motion control, though. Well, yeah, I was about to say, come on now. And the graphics, but you're right. I mean, they really... Well, it's a, I mean, but all the they did was game. take the textures away and the, and some of the foliage. I mean, it's the same game. Yeah. There's, it's true. Yeah. Dead, it's true. Dead Space was a completely different experience. Yes. Not Rails. Um, but... And it was like, awesome. That worked for that, but I don't want the Switch versions of of games to be less watery versions yeah. when they don't well, have no, to be. I'm just, when, when I say the, the Wii, you going back to the Wii era, I'm more referring to the, just the Wii got different games. And I understand yeah, that. Yeah, it's not like you're talking about power. But no, yeah, not, no, I'm not talking about we get a get version of the game because it's on the Switch. I just mean we get a different game. I don't yeah. think they would do that, though, that because there's similar though, with, power. Well, they, with, could, they could reuse assets. They just, just don't. You don't have I to don't think they would. I don't know. Yeah, man. I, I don't just, think they would do that. I don't see how that computes with the Switch, though. If it literally is, let's say it's Xbox One just right there in power, then then why? Would yeah, it have that's to be a that's why game? it seems weird. It would be the same game problem. So you take the same because nobody's gonna game. buy that game on the Switch. They need something different. They want something. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm it, trying to figure out Terrell. They take. might buy it for the portability, though. Yeah, I mean we don't know yet. What yeah, yeah but the, that's a kind of up in the air thing. Now that it's, they've got a three-hour battery, well, I'm gonna come I mean, <laughs> oh, it's all falling apart. I'm trying to figure this out. So you're saying take assets from a game? Let's say I'm was, saying they could put, they could easily make a different type of Call of Duty, just for example, without like, but still use assets. You're assets. About, I don't like um, you know you know in China they got this game called Call of Duty. Um, yeah, but I'm saying that you want Activision online. to do this, like make a it. Doesn't have, it doesn't have to be. You, you, you just have Treyarch do it again, like how. Oh, yeah, yeah, but what's going to cost man. more money, though? Porting it to the uh, easy-to-port Switch or making a different, completely different game and having to develop a different game? Like, I, I mean, I'm, saying, I'm not saying it would be terrible, but I don't see them doing that. Like, You're talking about take the game, let's say take the, the Call of Duty game engine, give Treyarch, say, hey, go make an original game, a first-person shooter original game. I mean, I just, I mean, now yeah, that's... They'll do it. They did it for the Wii. No, but they did it for the Wii, and I think it, as long as the a, console sells... Right, it has to sell really well yeah, for them to yeah. do that. But why wouldn't but, you just give them the new Call of Duty at that point if the system's fully too, capable? Because, because the argument will turn into, well, why would we... Why, would we why get play the, it on the... Why play again, the portability, I truly believe... Man, nobody want to play no portable 3 out of the game. Even though you play 3 ds outside of the house. Come on now. No, listen, anyone that has San Andreas on their mobile phone would love to play GTA 5 I on, do. Their, on their... Only yeah, if like, I could be outside... On a on a wireless or not even a wireless. Well, it's not on a just like outside. It'd be like like if I'm at I mean, work, we have Wi-Fi. If you're on a, yeah. you're on a train, at, you're yeah, the, you're so, oh, yeah, the six, the, like the zero. You have to give me some really train. good incentive. You know, got to be. I can play. You know, on a on a bus, I can play multiplayer. You know, if you yeah, could, I if I could do that, fun. then this yeah. then the switch costs eight hundred dollars. Probably amazing. <laughs> But it's not going to happen. It's tough because I I see what you're saying, T. But I actually do agree with Robert. Like. It goes back to that thing that I, I know it's the third time I brought this up, but when Greg Miller, like PlayStation fanboy of all people, said, I, for the first time in over a decade, am considering multiplats not on the PlayStation because I would get a portable. Yeah, because and, he's and maybe like the Call of Duty games won't sell because you can't play them online, but the games like Skyrim or Grand Theft Auto or whatever down the road, Red Dead Redemption, that you don't need to be online to play part of it. But that stuff really might be appealing. To I think that's more of a game by game basis. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Consumers. He's not like he's not the average gamer. Like the average gamer, that's True. I mean that works for him. Mm-hmm. I think the average gamer totally did it. People. Like well, that's that, what I'm saying. I think you know, it's that's, you know what it's like to me. It reminds me of like um, 3D or or uh, or or, um, or virtual, virtual reality. reality. Even yeah. it's just like, like oh, that's gonna be cool for five minutes, and I'm not gonna play this game. Out, you know, outside my house 
more than twice. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like, 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 like how people defaulted when they saw the Joy-Con control. It's like, yeah, I would never play it like that. Like, remember I, all those people that when they saw the Wii U, it was like, oh man, I'll be able to lay back in my bed, you know, next well, you to my wife. <laughs> yeah, but you Nobody couldn't do it. Yeah, but it that was reach. Nintendo's fault for not making it really work right. They'd yeah. have to make this if the Switch delivers saying, it's on the process. If you actually tried that thing a couple times, and it's just like, okay, yeah. this is that was. I cool. would have loved to. I just it didn't reach my bedroom. Yeah, yeah because no yeah, Juice, you're someone who played off TV all the time, right? Mm-hmm, all the time. So I, I feel was playing like if, for if, four hours yesterday. I missed. It. I forgot to watch Walking Dead because I was playing Mario Maker while the football game I feel was like on. Yeah, I'm missing a point, man. I just feel like uh, well, just... well, your point would be <laughs> valid if someone actually, if their Wii U could, the gamepad would reach their bedroom and, and man, they tried it. It, it. I have tried that. It's 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 not that. I mean, it, it worked. Obviously, you do it. Yeah, it like, works. Oh, I want to do it, but then you you don't. Nobody wants to game laying in their bed. That, that, nah. that, that well, but that's why. What about if they're on the train? And people I, do I, want to game I, on I, the I, go. This way. Okay, well, uh, let's take it from a guy who, uh, like me, who plays a th- 3DS pretty consistently. Like, I played a whole bunch of games on that. If I had the option to put that on a screen and just play it on a console, I'd rather just do that. In some yeah, but you, that's why you have the option to but me. You, but you're not, what I'm saying is you're not going to convert uh, – Console gamers into to, to the handheld, handheld gamer. It's not going to happen. Yeah, if they, I don't, I don't already, know how you can say that. For sure. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm saying that 100 percent sure. It's because they're, not, they're stuck in their ways. Because they're stuck in their ways, and they they wouldn't even conform to the game pads minor inconveniences where it was like oh well you're gonna right. yeah but but the idea with the switch is that those inconveniences have now been removed so you know th- we have to see if nintendo's delivering on that promise but it seems like the promise is hey all the things we told you you could do with the wii u that you couldn't now we fixed it now you, you better have do... a 10 hour battery then for those i mean people. and that's true like that's well there's no the i mean like, <laughs> yeah. no here's, here's I, agree, what I'm saying, like, I think it will be a factor for some people like just totally. like totally why are people buy the Xbox said, One I, version? I said it would. <laughs> We've had this discussion before. I said it would be for some people, but you're not going to convert most people. Well, I don't yeah. think they have to. I don't think they have to convert everybody. They're like, as well, no, as they don't. Double but... or, if they double or triple the Wii U sales, they've done knocked it out of the park. Well, if, if you're going to convince somebody to, to stop buying Call of Duty or whatever on the console they've been playing it on for 20 years, yeah, which that's, that's what I'm saying. They gotta, 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 not, I mean, that's just not going to. That's yeah, that's, really. that, that's the point he's making. Is that you that the PlayStation and the Xbox uh, fan bases? Ooh, I buy all my friends over there on the Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to Nintendo as so now I can for play the, on the yeah. You've you've groomed <laughs> those guys over like two console generations to play on these consoles. Well, You're that's why you got to adapt eventually. One this of is the why you made, it was time, yeah. it was the same thing with the Wii. You had to kind of like give them a reason to want to play. Certain mm. games on the Wii because the Wii offered you a new totally. way to play. You have to entice people. Yeah. Whereas here, it's not like a new way to play. It's just oh, I don't have to. I don't have to be confined to the TV. I can actually play, play on the toilet without stuttering. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. Think, like, I don't think that's a big. I don't think most 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 PlayStation Four gamers are not going to be like. Well, I guess I'm just going to switch consoles now. Well, like, I don't think they have to switch consoles. I really. I well, really the point. switch. You don't want them to make to the, the PS4. No problem. Yeah, I, um, I yeah, they I switched that's the PlayStation from Xbox, no problem. Yeah, those are home that's consoles. Totally it's not a big. Well, so this is a home console. Console. We're also getting, and there were benefits. You yeah. were getting graphical but, boost. But you're talking about the stuff that's not home consolely about it. So, you know, like, but it's, yeah, this but is a home is, console. But what it is is an added benefit to your home console experience. To some people, like, to, yeah. yeah, totally. To some people, you don't I know. Totally I mean, agree. we don't know. It could be no one. It has a minor effect, or it could be this. The major deciding factor. We, I'm not going to say one be. way or the so other. The guy who says he's just going to leave it on the dock all the time. I'm going to leave it on really? the dock the whole time. This is coming from you? Yeah. I'm not going to base my thoughts of what everyone else is just ba- just on how I'm going to use it. I mean, yeah, it's smart. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I, mean, I don't know. I'm not going to say one way or the other. Look, to me, you're not I saying anything that... I haven't said already, but what I'm saying is it's not going to be some big revolution where you're going to move all these dudes over because you can play on the bus. It's just yeah. not going to happen. It's going to be kind not of like a Call of Duty for sure. Well, no, yeah, but... see, call, a, a call, an online experience is going to be different because you're right. Those people need to play yeah, online I don't think and there's they want to play with their friends. But I don't again, think that's going to be appealing to them. people that want to play Fallout 4, you know, yep, I don't know. Exactly. Those people, like, so many people keep... have said, oh, who, my God. Who want to play Skyrim Fallout 4 and played it already? 
Like who? No, are these I'm people? not saying specifically <laughs> that game. Like though. That, though. I'm yeah. I'm saying like Bethesda, like how the guy was playing Skyrim on the plane. He was playing. I think that could totally have it for a lot of people. People got excited specifically about Skyrim. Because that was trending that on Twitter. Was. Skyrim, Skyrim. Hell yeah! And they're here. like Skyrim on the go. What? Like, Either way, I don't want to yeah. talk about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> we were arguing about something there that's five months away from in having any idea if I it's true ten year old games. Well, well, really really say, I mean, we're all, we are talking, but we and, do are talking about the Switch. So I mean, and Robert clearly was just talking about a game like Fallout Four, not exactly Fallout Four. Yeah, six yeah. months later, you know, mm-hmm. you just I just think they're without knowing it could be a factor for some. I don't think, like I said, I don't think online games will, that will be a benefit at all. Neither, because obviously neither, you can't play. Except for Nintendo's like Splatoon and Mario Kart. Yeah. Like those yeah. games. Well, yeah, because it's the only way you can play it. Because they'll have local. They'll have local. My, my, my one thing, so. I know you want to move on from this, so I'll, I'll just say this, this one thing about it, is to me, the whole different sides of this argument comes down to if the Switch actually delivers on what it's promising. If Nintendo misses with this the way they missed with the idea of the Wii U, it's really going to struggle to be picked up by anyone who's not a Nintendo fan. But if this thing really kills this portable and home console idea and really kills it with first and third party games and it works perfectly, I think it will make an impact in the non-Nintendo audience. Like I, I, I really think some people who would normally never consider picking up a, a Nintendo console or playing their third party game on a Nintendo console will like enough to make it a significant success over what the wii u was but it just depends on if it's a, if it works maybe nintendo drops the ball but like you're saying juice we have to find out in five i, months, I just feel like so. this is my last word on, i just feel like the switch is to bring the 3ds guys over to the console yes. not the, not the console guys over to the 3ds yeah i, just, I agree i think I agree that's true that. too i, I and i do so. agree with that as well i think because i think that was the problem it's like why why is it that the market we're making the most money in our handhelds and you're looking at your consoles and being like, where did all this money go? This money seemed to it didn't make it over. It right. didn't make the transition. I think they're more worried about that. It's like, well, let's that's get them into the home market. That's so do you is. guys not think that Nintendo's focusing on third parties then? I don't know. Not not after the Wii U. I think, I, I think yeah, that's a really good that's a tough I think, I think yeah. what I think they're gonna they're coming out the gate saying they can do what they want. But we gonna have a good amount of right. shit as soon as as soon as yeah. the door opens. We gonna have our 3ds software and our you know Wii yeah they gonna they hit the ground running. That's why they said that's why that's why when they uh when they said they were uh they wait until March to release the console they didn't say everybody else's games they said their games is what they were concerned. Yeah.